I don't think I'm heroic, really. I think I did just try to do what was right and what needed to be done. And that's exactly where we begin tonight. A ring of fire leads to a full circle moment. Yeah, two weeks ago, a massive fire now deemed accidental destroyed a dozen apartments in West Peoria, costing millions in damages, devastating and displacing many. The cause is still undetermined. But despite that heartache comes a story of heroism and humanity. I spoke with two people caught in the center of that fire and found they share a deep connection that they never expected. Uh, my apartment was right up here on the uh, third story. A third story that is now history. I was really fortunate everybody got out. This was this was bad. Tristan Morris is returning to the scorched site that was once his home. He's one of 17 people who, in a flash of flames, lost everything after a late night fire two weeks ago gutted 12 units at the Edgewood Apartments in West Peoria. Hallways crumbled, floors disintegrated, years of memories singed to dust and debris. I try not to think about it. I try to just keep moving forward. He's since found a new home, but for a brief moment faced a devastating deja vu. About three years ago, Tristan was homeless. He credits much of his survival during that time to the support from the Peoria Porch Pantry. They made sure I had things I needed to survive, um, sleeping bags, can openers. Uh, stuff so I wouldn't starve to death. He says he's always wondered how to repay them. Fast forward to June 20th, 2023, the chance came in the form of tragedy. The same flames that swallowed his apartment trapped Caleb Martin's family on the top floor. The smoke was so thick you can't breathe. Even if you got to the, I was crawling on the floor to get place to place, I, was, I couldn't see anything. I had to feel around. Martin says he woke up to the fire and his first thought was saving his fiance and two little girls. But with no clear exit and no working fire extinguisher nearby, the only way out was through the window. He says he trembled to lure his five year old out first. Them looking up at you like, Daddy, I don't want to die. Mom, Dad, I don't, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. And having to trust the people below. Come on, go. You got my word. These people below. Body cam video captures the startling seconds law enforcement and three neighbors used a bed sheet to catch Caleb's youngest daughter. Come now. We got her. We got her. Good job. Good job. Good job. The rest of the family got out by ladder. The three holding the sheet with police, Norman Johnson, Dylan Lyon, and Tristan Morris. Our average Joe heroes, they are my heroes to this day, and they will always be my heroes. I just did my part. I just, I just did whatever I could, you know what I mean? I hear, I heard kids, and that's the first thing I thought of was getting the kids out. I think I did what any normal man would have done under the circumstances. But the full circle moment came days later after the smoke settled when Tristan and Caleb met at the porch pantry. Turns out Caleb is the nephew of the pantry's owner who helped Tristan during his lowest point. I grabbed him up and gave him a hug, man. It's really chilling to, to see your hero in person. Now staying in a motel, Caleb calls it divine intervention. Tristan says it's not exactly the repayment he had in mind, but knowing he was able to help helps him cope with everything. And the West Peoria Fire Department announcing today that they'll be honoring the rescuers from that fire. Norman Johnson, Dylan Lyon, and Tristan Morris, along with the other Peoria County first responders, will get life-saving awards for that night. And we also have some of the GoFundMe pages for those who lost everything in that fire over on our website, ciproud.com.